evidence that members of the Trump campaign were involved in the theft or publication of Clinton campaign related emails? Can you read uh, or can you re repeat the question? Is it accurate to say your investigation found no evidence that members of the Trump campaign were involved in the theft or publication of the Clinton campaign related emails? I don't know. The, I don't know uh, uh, what they have. Well, well, volume one, page five, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. So it would uh, therefore be inaccurate, based on this, to describe uh, that finding as open to doubt, that finding being uh, that a Trump campaign was involved with theft or publication of the Clinton campaign emails. Uh, Are you following that, sir? I, I, I do believe I'm following it, but it is uh, uh, that portion of that matter it does not fall within our jurisdiction. Or, I, or I, I fall within our investigation. Well, basically, what, you, what you, your report says, volume one, page five, I just want to be clear that open to doubt is how the committee Democrats described this finding in their minority views to, uh, of our 2018 report. And it, it, it kind of flies in the face of what you have in, in, in your report. But, so is it accurate to also to say uh, the investigation found no documentary evidence that George Papadopoulos told anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign about Joseph Mifsud's claims that the Russians had dirt on Canada and Clinton? Let me uh, turn that over to Mr. Uh, Sadly. I, I, I'd like to ask you, sir, uh, this is your report, and, and that's what I'm basing this on. And then could you repeat the question for me again? Yeah, is it accurate to say the investigation found no documentary evidence that George Papadopoulos told anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign about Joseph Misfit's claims that the Russians had dirt on candidate Clinton? I believe uh, it appearing in the report that it's uh, accurate. Okay, so it, yeah, in the report it says no documentary evidence that Papadopoulos shared this information with the campaign. It's therefore inaccurate to conclude that by the time of the June 9, 2016 Trump Tower meeting, quote, the campaign was likely already on notice via George Papadopoulos' contact with Russian agents that Russia, in fact, had damaging information on Trump's opponent. Would you say that that is inaccurate to say that it's it's likely already? On, I, I direct you to I could direct you to the report. Well, I appreciate that because the Democrats jumped to this incorrect incorrect collusion in their minority views again, which contradicts what you have in in your report. I'm concerned about a number of statements. I'd like you to clarify because a number of Democrats have made some statements that I have concerns with, and, and maybe you can clear them up. So a member of this committee said President Trump was a Russian agent after your report was publicly released. That statement is not supported by your report, correct? Uh, that is accurate. It's not supported. Multiple Democrat members have asserted that Paul Manafort met with Julian Assange in 2016 before WikiLeaks released DNC emails, implying Manafort colluded with Assange. Because your report does not mention finding evidence that Manafort met with Assange, I would assume that means you found no evidence of this meeting. Is that assumption correct? I'm, I'm not sure I agree with that assumption. But you make no mention of it in your report. <laughs> would you agree with that? Uh, yes, I would agree with that. Okay, Mr. Mueller, does your report contain any evidence that President Trump was enrolled in the Russian system of compromat as a member of this committee once claimed? Well, to uh, what I can speak to is uh, information, evidence that we picked up as the uh, special counsel, and I think that's accurate uh, as far as it goes. Thank you. I appreciate that. So let, let's go for a second to, to scope. Did you ask the Department of Justice to expand the scope of the special counsel's mandate related to August 2nd, 2017, or August 20th, 2017 scoping memoranda? Well, there, uh, uh, without looking at the memoranda, I could not answer that. Well, question. let me ask you, did you ever make a request to expand your office's mandate, which, at all? Uh, generally, uh, yes. And was that ever denied? Uh, I'm not going to speak to that. It, not it to goes to no internal deliberations. Well, I'm just trying to understand process. Does expanding the scope come from the acting attorney general uh, or uh, I'm not Rosenstein, or does it come from you, or can it come from either? 
I'm not going to discuss uh, any, uh, any other alternatives. Thank you, Mr. Mueller.